What's up everyone and welcome back to the fourth video in the Python tutorial series. In this series we're going to be discussing lists. And so what we're going to start off with is let's say you want to store a list of like all of the square numbers. So you might do that like square one equals one, square two equals four, square three equals nine but you see that that gets really tedious if you want to make a long list so what we're actually going to do is we're going to just make a list within python and we can just do open brackets one four nine sixteen twenty five and there's our list and then the way we access this is just like with strings where before we could do zero in brackets and then that will print out the first item in the list which will be one and so it functions exactly exactly like it did with strings so we can do we can do slices we can do zero to four like we did before we could do something like just take the second index up until the end so we leave it empty like that and if we want to grab all of them we can just put the colon in there and then that's basically saying we don't have a start point and we don't have an end point so just keep going in both directions and so we get the full list and then if we want to add things to our list we have a couple different options we can just do squares equal squares plus and so what we're doing here is we're doing like last time where we we add to it by doing itself plus and then the entire list and so we can print that out and we see that it's put together both of the lists <coughs> And so that's good if we just want to add it to the end, but what if we want to add something in a different position? So like say we want to replace the nine with something. Well, what we can do is we can do squares, e squares brackets two, because we start with zero index. So this is zero, one, two. And so we're replacing the nine and then we can assign it with whatever we want. So we can put in 10 like that and then if we print squares we can see that it's replaced 9 with 10 and so sometimes we might have individual values we want to append instead of a full list so we just do dot append to basically add something to the end so here what we did is we had two lists and we concatenated them together here we're just adding one individual value to the end so let's just append three and then you'll see that it threw an individual value of three on the end and another thing we can do with lists is we can put a list within a list. So let's say we do something, instead of it appending an individual value, we can append an entire list. So we could do something like that.
And so now we have 1, 4, 10, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. And then the last index is actually a list of its own. So if we were try to print just the last value by using the negative 1, then we would find that the last value in the first list is an entire list of its own. And just like with the string method, or with strings from the previous tutorial, we can measure the list or the length of a list by doing the len function. So we're just going to print len squares, and it's going to tell us how long the squares list is. So it's 11. So that's counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then this last object is still just one item within the list because it's a list of its own. That's going to conclude our fourth tutorial. In the next tutorial, it looks like we're making a Fibonacci series and we're probably going to have to click uh, cover the while loop.